We're going to the Southern Ocean, which is remote. What we're after actually is the baseline. The mercury is, of course, a really interesting metal in a liquid form. It vaporizes very easily, and its major transport mechanism is actually over the atmosphere. When we burn fossil fuels, when we have forest fires, volcanic um, sources as well, we get a lot of mercury going into the atmosphere. Now, we've doubled the amount of mercury in the atmosphere through our activities, and, and one of the processes I'm particularly interested in is we get sea salt building up on this first year sea ice and bromine comes out of that when the sun comes back. And bromine monoxide is far more effective at oxidizing and cleaning things out than our usual radical that we consider to be the vacuum cleaner of the atmosphere, our hydroxyl radicals, the OH. Well on here we have some guest instruments that measure mercury and we'll measure those depletion events. Any measures that can be taken to limit our use and production of mercury is a, is a good step forward. Internationally, there's, there's the recognition that mercury is a neurotoxin and we find it right through our food chains. And albatross over the Southern Ocean have the highest levels of methylmercury of any seabirds in the world.